Hey, so today we'll be working on a PS5 HDMI port. Go ahead and switch to top view. So the first step in doing an HDMI port is you want to grab a good pair of tweezers. That's the first thing you want to do. You want to grab a good pair of tweezers and, you know, preferably they'll be flat. So like flat tweezers as opposed to ones with a pointy tip. Next, you want to take your heat gun, air on 99, uh, heat on 480, that's how I like to do it. And you just want to hold it underneath that port. You just want to hold it underneath that port. Now, especially with the PS5, it seems as though the solder doesn't have it's not low melt solder however their factory solder you don't have to heat it up for an extremely long time for it to melt so we'll hold our heat gun underneath just enough for that solder to melt and then we'll go ahead and take it off with our tweezers Like I said, that was pretty quick. This is our old port. This is our old port. And then now we'll go ahead and put that, well, we're gonna do a few things before we put the new port on, but, you know, I guess the next step is to put that new port on. This is what we're gonna do beforehand. Now, like I said, we're not adding low melt solder when we first begin to, uh, we're not adding low melt solder before we take the port off. And this is something that I'm, so what we'll end up doing is we'll end up going back under there with, with heat and then we'll put low melt solder inside of those pads, inside of those through hole connectors. That way next time we go to heat it up, it won't take as long and it's easier to adjust our port and place it in. Next, we want to add a flux. Flux helps solder flow. Flux removes oxidation. And flux allows you to do your job correctly. So we want to add flux. Now we want to take our solder and iron. Make sure it's clean, first of all. And then what we want to do is we want to tend these pads right here because what we're doing is we're repairing we're preparing it for that next hdmi port that's going to go ahead and go in there so we want to tend those pads really quickly pretty straightforward pads are tent I'm sorry, traces are 10 pads. We went ahead and add low melt solder. So now we're ready for that new port. So here's an HDMI port right here for a PS5. We'll take this and open it up. Hold it with your flathead tweezers. This is how we're going to install it. The same way we went ahead and took the first one off and then put some solder on these pins. 
That way you have a better chance of it flowing in place the first time and you don't really have to go ahead and touch it up too much with that uh, with the soldering iron. The soldering iron. You don't have to touch it up too much with the soldering iron. Let's go back to our heat. Same airflow, same heat. I'm gonna hold it over top till everything melts and then go ahead and put that new charging, I'm sorry, HDMI port back on there. So as you can see, everything kind of got like bright as opposed to dull. That has, that's how you know you went ahead and melted that solder. And then now what you want to do is place the new port on top. Make sure it's all the way down. And that's how you install a new HDMI port. You're gonna let that dry for a little bit, for a second. You don't want to risk moving anything around. <clears throat> Maybe like two seconds though, other than that, you know, you should be fine. Maybe like two seconds and everything would be how it's supposed to. Everything would be dry. The solder would be, you know, in place or whatever. So now that, we got, now that we've got that under control, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to our microscope view. And get those traces and, and pins underneath the microscope to see exactly what we're working with. Okay, so here are our traces. The traces are the pads that are actually on the board. Uh, on top of the traces are the pins. Those pins are the pins from the HDMI port connector. As you can see, every pin is on a pad. That's from when I went ahead and, you know, used heat to put that new port on. So now I want you, what you want to do is you want to make sure that every pin that's connected to those traces are making a secure connection. So that's what we'll go ahead and do. Grab our tweezers. And we just want to touch every pad or every pin and see if it's connected to that trace from the solder that we put that we uh, we went ahead and we went ahead and tend those traces. So every one so far, every pin so far is on that trace and making a secure connection, and it's soldered on. That's how you know you you know you went ahead you went ahead and, and put it on correctly the first time. You know if you do it right you wouldn't even have to. Or I wouldn't necessarily say do it right, but it's just, it's just a lot easier when you put it on that first time and you honestly don't have to touch anything else if you don't want to. I will say say like this pen right here. Or hold up maybe not that one. Let me. Okay, so this pin right here, right? This pin right here, well, how about this? The pin is from the HDMI port. The pad or the trace is connected to the actual board. This trace isn't connected to anything down here. You see, you see these little vias right here? And it's coming from this trace, and there is a via right here coming from this trace. This trace doesn't have a via. That lets me know that this trace is ground. So it is good to have every pin connected on the trace, you know, using solder, through solder. However, if this pin wasn't connected to the trace, your PS5 would still work as is. Basically was what I'm trying to say because it's a ground connector. So that shouldn't be an issue. Okay, cool. What we wanna do next, or what I'll do next, you know, just for the heck of it, is I'll still go ahead and add some flux and touch up these pins with low melt solder and my solder and iron, just to be 100% sure. I 
guess that's a little more than a thin coat, but that should do. So what you begin to see is you'll see those gold pins, they'll turn silver because I'm adding solder to them. Not only that, the flux allows the solder that I'm adding to flow on top of the pins. Without flux, my job wouldn't be possible. You know, I wouldn't uh, have as much luck as I would have. It would, honestly, it would be difficult Probably not possible at all to, to solder without flux. So. so honestly, I'm just touching them up. I'm not doing much. Now that I went ahead and touched everything up, what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and clean this off with some alcohol as well as a Q-tip. Really just turn that Q-tip into circular motion. Slide it back and forth, getting that flux off. I'm just going to go ahead and dry it now. Nice. So as you can see, I mean, except for one, all of these pins went ahead and turned silver after I tinned them with that solder. Now we do have one right here that's still gold. And that's because I didn't really want to get too close to this capacitor to knock it off. Well, that's a little silver. It's a little gold, but it's a little silver too. However, it is connected onto that board still. So, I mean, it wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be an issue. And I'll just go down the line and test them you know, before I put it together, just to be 100% sure. So far, so good. Nice. So every pin is soldered to that board, to every trace. That lets us know that we can begin to put it together, uh, reassemble it, plug it in, and then we'll expect everything to work as it should. We want image now. Image will go onto the screen now. Charging port, I'm sorry, HDMI port. What happens when you have an HDMI port failure is your system will be on, everything is working, but you plug in your HDMI port and you still don't get image to the TV. That's like your phone working, your phone being on, you're getting emails, text messages, you're getting rings or whatever, but that screen is not on, so you can't see it. So you may be putting in your password wrong and you may lock the phone up, you know, so. But yeah, this is a successful repair. What I'll do is I'll show you guys that screen. I'll show you guys the screen uh, when it's, you know, put together and everything is, you know, working and I'll just show you, you know, so give me a second. Okay, so here's that PS5 fully reassembled. This is what it looks like. Honestly, I think it's beautiful, but here's that PS5 uh, fully reassembled. I went ahead and plugged it in. I also plugged in HDMI out port, the one that I just replaced. So let's go ahead and turn it on first of all, see what happens. Um. <clears throat> Linking blue light means that it's powering on, it's not fully on. A lot of the times when you have a PlayStation for no power, what it'll do is it'll blink blue light, maybe for like a second or two or maybe longer, but it never goes full white, which means you have either a, uh, a uh, what is it, power supply issue or a board problem. As you can see, this one went ahead and went white. Now we know it's on. So let's switch over to that HDMI. Let's switch over to that view. So that we can see exactly what's going on. 
Okay, so you guys switched over to that PlayStation view. As you guys can see, it does power on, everything works. So I'll go ahead and wiggle the cable really quick, really quickly. So I'm wiggling the cable, no jumps, no glitches, no nothing. So I can say that we did a great job. What I wanna do now is I wanna go ahead and power the system off. Nice. Let's go ahead and power this one off. Cool. So that's ex <laughs> so that's how you successfully do an HDMI PS5 uh, port repair. What more can I say? If you like the video, if you learned something, like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have a good rest of your day.